kitchen today again you already know this it look man I know it's been a minute for as cooking wise but look I'm back in here I had to take a few days off you know for myself my family and just you know just go visit and do all kinds of stuff together man you know what I'm saying live a little bit look today I got one for you um I'm gonna do some fried kale greens yes sir I said kale fried kale greens mixed with some Brussels sprouts and some with some veggies and stuff in it I got one for you. I got a recipe for you. Also, I'm going to do some ribs. You already seen me do ribs before, grilled ribs, whatever. But I'm going to make my own rub, and we're going to put our own sauce on the ribs, okay? Like, when you put them on the grill, after the ribs are done, I'm going to take them off, cut them up. Then I'm going to toss them in our own uh, sauce that we made, the one the twins made. Mix it up. I'm going to sit it back on the grill so it can caramelize onto the ribs. Yes, sir. Also, I'm going to make some yellow rice. And I'm gonna make some separate greens for you know what, for you know who, Corey, <laughs> my son, okay? It's going down today, nice little simple meal, nice easy recipe that you can follow. You ready? I'm ready. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. As you can see right here, I'm pulling the membrane off the ribs first. And these are St. Louis style cut ribs. Yes, yeah, so I want to try those out. Those are, so those are the ribs, I guess they, they, they specialize ribs in St. Louis, I don't know, but I tell you, boy, they are definitely delicious. And they have less fat on them, too. But I'm pulling the membrane off of these, okay? So here's my ingredients. You're going to need some kosher salt, cayenne salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, garlic and onion powder, some celery seed, or you can use celery salt. You got some cinnamon and some brown sugar. Yes, sir, it's going down. All right, and this is for three slabs of rib, this amount I'm about to give you, okay? You're gonna start out with one half cup of brown sugar, okay? And then you're gonna go with two tablespoons of smoked paprika, all right? Then one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. This is for the rub. One tablespoon of garlic powder and one tablespoon of onion powder, okay? All right, so moving along, you got one teaspoon of cinnamon. Yes, sir. One tablespoon of celery seed, or you can use celery salt, all right? And now you're going with, you got two tablespoons of the kosher salt, all right, and bring that flavor. Last but not least, one tablespoon of black pepper. You're gonna mix this real good, fam. You should have yourself a nice little rub. Yes, sir. Make your own rub for your ribs if you can. I wanted a rub this time on it, especially mixed with uh, the Wonder Twin sauce that we made. You saw what we made with that, okay? Yeah, sir, that's good. That's good, that look good. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure we cover the, the, the ribs all the way up the best way we can, just get it good and covered. We're gonna lay it on there real thick. And then we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna make sure we rub them in there. Make sure those ribs are padded dry, fam. You don't want your ribs wet and all it's gonna do is mess up the seasoning and everything, okay? You're already gonna have the moisture on it because of the ribs when they touch each other. Yeah, so you see I'm covered real good. Okay, so I'm gonna slide it down and make sure I get those in good too. Yes, sir. That should be enough for to cover at least three slabs of ribs. Look at that, fam. Now, that's a thing of beauty. <laughs> You're going to like this recipe, family. Okay, so what we're going to do, 
we're going to eventually get ready. We're going to move along to the outside. And then while we put the ribs on the grill, we're going to come back in and we're going to start making the recipe for the kale greens. Okay. All right. So right here, the, the grill is ready to go. We're just going to put, a, put them on there. Now, listen, I'm not going to put onions on this one here. Okay. Because all the types of season I have. And then I got my, the, got the Wonder Twin sauce going on the ribs. Yeah, sir. We don't need the onions today. And all I have in the little bottle there is some water and kosher salt mixed together. Just a little bit of kosher salt, okay? You don't need that much. All right, we're moving right along. Okay, right here you have one fourth of a cup of olive oil going into the pan. This is for the uh, kale greens mixed with Brussels sprouts, all right? Okay, we're gonna move them, uh, you know, get the, get the heat on it real good. All right, that's what you're gonna need. Some sesame oil, some uh, uh, cayenne pepper flakes. You're gonna need one cut up onion and one up cut one cut up uh, red bell pepper. I got one for you. There's one bunch of kale greens and we're gonna use one two pound bag, cut in half of Brussels sprouts. And that's one half tablespoon, one half stick of uh, butter, one fourth cup of minced garlic, one tablespoon of kosher salt and black pepper. All right, we're getting ready to go in. I hope I didn't miss anything. All right, that's unsalted butter. We're gonna let it melt down real good, and then we're gonna toss the minced garlic in, and then the onion. And we're gonna let that cook for like 10 minutes, fam. One fourth of a cup. This this way, fam. You can you can make your kale greens taste. You know kale greens are bitter, so you can make them taste the way you want them to taste. Trust me, it came out perfect. Stick with your boy. We're gonna let this cook for like ten minutes with the onions, and then we're gonna come back. All right. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, then cook down. Now we're going in with the Brussels sprout. That's a one. One, one uh, uh, two pound bags of cut in half Brussels sprouts, okay? You're gonna mix them up real good. And we're gonna let these cook down a little more too, probably another uh, uh, 10 minutes as well, okay? And we're also gonna cover this. That way we can get, get it cooked down and you know, more so. Okay, now we're back outside to check on the ribs. Oh, MG. It's coming right along. They're not ready yet. Mm-hmm. We're gonna keep moving them around. They're not ready. Okay. Now those are the green. Those are Cory greens. Ooh, wee, that look mouth watering. Okay, now back in here. Ooh. Now you can't tell me that don't look good, fam. All right. Now we're going in with the red pepper flakes, excuse me. We're going in the red pepper, just a pinch. Very light. You don't want it to take over the pan in the pot, okay? See, look at that. That's enough. That's a pinch. Sprinkle around, okay? Okay, mix it up real good. All right. Okay, so after we didn't have them cook for another 10 minutes, okay? We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add some kale greens to it, one bunch. We're gonna try to get them all in the pot, put the lid back on, let it cook down, and then we're gonna add some more. We're not gonna season the salt and black pepper in there yet, nor are we gonna put the sesame, sesame oil in there yet. Okay, so now, look at it, we got them all in the pot. We're gonna continue to mix it up and keep it moist, all right? So shortly we should be able to go ahead and add the, uh, the red bell peppers in there, okay? And the salt and pepper, should be coming up real soon. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty, you see it. This is the best way I believe to make kale, Kale greens taste worth eating. 
because <laughs> a lot of people don't like kale greens and i can understand why with that very bitter taste but stick with your boy i brought it back to life yes sir all right so what we're gonna go ahead and add we're gonna add one tablespoon of kosher salt and one tablespoon of black pepper that's it mix it up and then we're gonna come back towards the end and add the sesame oil you'll see and we're just gonna sprinkle that we're gonna let this cook for another 10 minutes okay wow look at that fam yeah sir okay it's done now 10 minutes later now we're gonna sprinkle on some sesame oil and we're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna let it simmer for like three minutes and then we it's ready to serve just like that bim bam boom stick with your boy all right okay so now oh mg there's the finished look look at that family get all let's get all the way in there look at that family tell me that don't look good and worth eating all right okay so now the ribs should be ready to go look at that that's the thing of beauty okay we're gonna go ahead and cut these ribs up make sure we get them all cut up then we're gonna put them in that bowl and then we're gonna put the wonder twin sauce on it we're gonna toss it in the sauce mix it up then we're gonna sit it back on the grill fam for another between five to ten minutes no longer than that we're gonna take them back off the grill okay and they should be ready to go All right, they're ready. Look at that, nice and seasoned. Okay, we're gonna put them back on the grill. So, get them all packed up, packed together. Then I'm gonna move them around a little bit because I don't want them to cook too fast. All right, spread them out. And they should be done after this. Mama, there goes that man. Ooh, look at that. That look good in mouth water family. Stick with your boy. We moving right along. We moving right along. Everything is ready to go. I didn't. I didn't show you the yellow rice because you don't see me make yellow rice before. And here is my finished plate. Mm, mm, mm. Now that's the thing of beauty. Nice and simple. Great recipes. Hey man, that's one for the. That's one for the ages, right there, fam. Nice and simple. I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of y'all day. Love y'all to life. G Rich out. In your mind.